right guys welcome back to the al just channel hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far not as much crazy news crazy drama but i do want to give you guys some score updates where the standings currently are right now for the lcq for champs obviously champs is going to be happening september 6th through september the 10th this is the finale of the year right this is year three finals this is the championship for the world championship the championship of all championships right this is why everybody's wanting to call because it's the last one it's the final one it's the big one right it's the final boss so we have the score updates for how the lcq was going round one that's been taking place where the teams are currently sitting right now and then some potential upsetting roster changes retirements that you might need to look out for if xyz team doesn't make it right so we're going to be going through all of those in today's video make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys want to step today all things apex legend esports related and without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into this first thing i wanted to make mention of here this is coming from the crypt this is a team that they have been playing very well i think they placed ninth overall in their round one and this is coming from dig vibes this guy is absolutely insane cracked he's been growing he's been getting better each and every year that he plays he's been really improving a lot as of late i thought it was funny because these are guys that really deserve a lot of attention it was nice to see imperial how doing a uh, reaction to this as well and some of the comms that you're hearing are pretty insane and i just thought this was too funny to not share roll the clip I'm swinging. I'm swinging. I'm swinging. Yeah. Cracked one. Cracked one. Cracked one. Swing. 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 Cracked again. I'm Come batting, on. I'm batting, I'm batting, I'm batting. Play slow. Play slow. Yeah. Oh my no, God! You hit the hit those shots. One. Nice. One out. One. Nice. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Jesus Christ! This guy's hitting the fucking go, S note. We're the best to do it. Oh my God. I just went crazy, man. Alright, guys. Oh, oh my God. I was pissing my pants that entire game. I will be right back. I was pissing everywhere in my pants. Big, I am so fucking proud of you, bro. I'm so proud that you're piss, you're pissing your pants. I'm so proud. So the comms were unbelievable, man. It was kind of hilarious to see all of this stuff go down, but I'm glad that these guys obviously had some success good on them as well now let's talk about the scores let's talk about where everybody is sitting right now so we'll start off with north america winners bracket round one so you had two different groups here group a and group b for north america so in group one we had e8 you had furia you had crypt which is the team we just watched you had some others as well but i gotta be honest this one didn't seem as stacked it wasn't as crazy and it also wasn't as controversial because some of the contests that we're looking forward to are actually going to happen more so today not going to be happening uh necessarily in yesterday so e8 finishes in third they move on to winner's bracket round two you've also got fury up moving on to winner's bracket round two you've got rise which is the, like former gears of war guys uh crypt as well all of these guys are looking good looking to move on also i thought it was pretty nice to see msw also lagiki these guys were pretty dominant in this and they looked really good that's what i really love about apex is you can have some teams that are not necessarily as well known do so good and so moving on to winner's bracket round one in group b you had some unfortunate news here and a little bit different of a scenario stability we are not surprised at all those guys did really well and finished in first place however dojo finished in, finished in second these guys actually had i think two back-to-back -back bad start of a games i think round one designed for crashes he's running a vpn and it doesn't let him get into the game and they restart it like three or four times and then eventually the admins say we're not going to restart it anymore for you so they have to go in and they have to play as a duo get a bad game i think next game get a bad game it's not looking good for dojo they pop off for the rest of the day three more wins a lot of kills these guys were just so mechanically gifted and arguably should have finished in first you know tied for first so you know bringing that back was massive for them so obviously if you don't know who the dojo is that's designful that's it's timmy and then that's enemy as well as their as their third i'm sorry steam team stability actually in third i keep getting these mixed over team stability was in third stallions were the guys that were in first they also had some bad games to start it off with but stallions ended up finishing in first dojo second stability in third and then oh look at this top four five teams here all unsigned all teams that are not necessarily on organizations or anything moving on to team six you got meat lovers i think we're not surprised to see those native gaming another team we're not necessarily surprised to see you do have some pro league teams that did not make it unfortunately they're going to be going down to the losers bracket tripods is one of those nick Merckx's squad did not show up today 
they have been doing pretty good in scrims suddenly they have a horrible day 27 points overall and they're going to be finishing in 17th moving on to the losers bracket noxus as well status quo dropped in gaming a lot of these guys are uh pro league teams that played just recently in a split two pro league and they're doing horrible in the lcq and you hate to see this now tripods does have a uh, pretty good chance of, of making it around two for losers bracket we're going to go over that right now you got you guys could see the new loser bracket of all these teams combined and you can see tripods theoretically should have a pretty uh free one i would say i mean i'm not trying to discredit anybody but tripods being that they have done pretty well in the scrims you would think that surely they should get through loser bracket one pretty easily loser bracket round two they're gonna have to play the top or the bottom 10 losers of winner's bracket round two so that's furia that's ea that's meat lovers that's native gaming so this is kind of where we go into the next one so the bottom 10 here we'll move on to loser bracket round two you should argue that tripods theoretically should have their fair way with that but if you're looking at it like that because of all these unsigned teams you might be in for a rude awakening because these unsigned teams are playing really really well right now so you obviously cannot overlook them now in winner's bracket round two you will have finally this contest we've all been waiting for furia going up against meat lovers at the lightning rod this is going to be a battle and a clash of two uh i guess you know big teams right here that a lot of people have moving on however some people are worried that they're going to be griefing both of their chances fury is going to have you know inconsistent contest meat lovers probably will have inconsistent contest a lot of people are favoring furia in this contest considering they've been there for a little bit longer and meat lovers are making a last minute move so i'm not sure how this is all going to go down i really got a bad feeling about me and i honestly would like to see me do good just because i know like even watching nice week stream yesterday in the watch party people really love tech as far as like you know being a competitor i, I know he's controversial but i think people love the fact that tech is a well-known competitor he's like you know he's brave he's willing to put his foot down and say we've got to make a decision we've got to do this in order to work and so i'm ready to see this risk pay off potentially but i don't know if it will so we'll just have to take a look and see how the day progresses of course now moving on to the european side the emia which by the way i want to say that nice week also pronounces it e-m-e-a not emia which i think it should definitely be done this way we had the games earlier today i woke up pretty early watching ddolf and actually make these uh you know streams as well vexed even with their third which is a substitute temporarily they finish first i just you know g-dolphin at this point i mean just join it full time i mean to my knowledge he was a sub uh just kind of playing throughout until they could find their new third but i mean hey if they're playing this well and finishing winners bracket round two in first place you might as well just keep them i mean they did really well and i caught the latter end of it as well so vex finishing first in winners bracket round two aurora is in second a lot of these teams you saw from land doing pretty good i thought it was kind of crazy horizon was down here though not doing so so well blue whites this is a team everybody's been saying to look out for they've been doing really good go next intricate they all these guys have been doing really good they're going to be moving on to the finals of course on sunday loser bracket we look at this we've got some teams already eliminated unfortunately loser bracket round two we now know the bottom 10 teams that are going to be playing it horizon of course being that they just actually got eliminated from the winner's bracket so winner's bracket should be played first which theory theoretically should mean we should get our north america winner's bracket first as well there's some other games that have happened here apac north a lot of the, obviously it would take us forever to go through these but there's really no massive surprise in a lot of these northception crazy raccoons all those guys from north uh, apac north you guys know they're doing just fine they're seeming to do pretty good so no like crazy surprises as of yet also you go through the uh you know winner's bracket for the apac south there's not that many teams that you know of here because most of the apac south north uh south popular teams have already qualified onik have already qualified for champs moist esports already qualified for champs so really nothing insane going on and then you look at the south american region i guess probably the most no notable one uh over here is going to be glitch energy they just signed that roster not long ago uh glitch energy saf winners bracket gr uh, group a and group b so you've got a lot of teams here kick esports they qualified to move on around two as well so pretty much no upsets as of now it's pretty much easy for the first couple of rounds so that's how we're currently looking interested to see what you guys have to say though about the north american loser bracket that should be going through today i'm worried slightly about tripods but i will say i'm rooting for them because i feel like it would be such a good thing to see them and their viewership and the pool that they have as a team at a championship environment sadly it's not looking good for them now though and i know a lot of people are going to wonder will tripods eventually make that roster change if they don't qualify for the lcq 
interested to see what you guys have to say down in the comment section below about all the topics mentioned in today's video well there's really not many topics we just kind of went through the scores let me know what your predictions are as well are tripods in a bad situation and i'll see you guys in the next one take care of yourselves and until next time later gators